Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel Divine the Pharmacist. Today I'm joined with Pharmacist Lucky from University Teaching Hospital. So um, I'm starting another series called Administration of uh, Ionotropic Drugs. So in this looking at what called cardiogenic shocks and how you manage the different types of shocks, cardiogenic shocks, septic shocks, and how do you manage them and the use of inotropic drugs in that aspect. So today we'll be looking at dopamine. Uh, dopamine, basically, uh, I want to just give a brief about it, is that it's an anotropic drug and it's uh, given at uh, different doses. It has a different effects uh, depending on the dose itself. So, and this drug, of course, becomes a good choice for cardiogenic shock. Of course, uh, when it comes to other types of shock, let's say septic shocks due to infections, that one, of course, the drug that we use in that aspect to raise the people, patient blood pressure, we use adrenaline or noradrenaline to become the choice of drugs because when it comes to the pathogenesis of such uh, uh, shocks are due to systemic vessel uh, dilatation. So in that case, we are to attack peripherally by giving drugs that will cause peripheral vasoconstriction. In that case, we look at uh, drugs like adrenaline. But in comes to uh, in the shocks like agenic shock, dopamine becomes a good choice because we don't want to increase the preload using drugs that work or cause peripheral vasoconstriction in this category. So let's look at dopamine administration. So let's assume, assume we have got a patient here. This is patient uh, that of course is on the ward. They've come in with cardiogenic shock and then, then the doctor wants to raise this patient's blood pressure using this dopamine. And the doctor prescribes here, make a prescription saying dopamine, six micrograms per kg per minute. And then he says 400 milligrams into 500 mils of normal serine. So how are you going to uh, dismiss this patient. This just ends there. So where are you going to start from? Let me just give it uh, a bit uh, briefly as I said initial about dopamine doses. The first one we say that uh, it gives uh, between doses of 1 to 5 micrograms per kg per minute of dopamine. This one of course uh, increases what you call renal perfusion. So this one is for renal perfusion through mesenteric renal vessels. So renal perfusion of course increase. Okay. Then we've got doses of 5 to, uh, to, to five to 15. So this one I'll put here like 5 to 15 micrograms per kg per minute. This dose, of course, is cardiac dose. I would say uh, cardiac contractility, heart rate. So this is more the cardiac dose that under this uh, category. And then the last, of course, doses are than uh, of 20 to 50 micrograms per kg per minute these dose of course have what call alpha agonist effects so they cause concentration uh, concentration vasoconstriction peripherally so this is alpha uh, agonist doses so this is under higher doses so in short dopamine at low doses will increase renal perfusion okay that's under mesenteric renal uh, blood versus that's uh, uh, even with the kidneys but at, at the doses between 5 to 15 doses these are cardiac doses to raising the what called cardiac contractility, uh, heart rate. So this is in this category, this range of the dose. And then we put the doses ranges from uh, 20 to 50, which is alpha agonist. This is causes uh, vasoconstriction through um, alpha stimulation. So basically, so in this particular, the doctor prescribed six micrograms because this is in what it's in this range. So this is the raising the cardiac. Um, it's in two through raising the blood pressure through the cardiac stimulation in this context. So how are we going to do it? Where are you going to start from to start solving this question? The first thing I need to do here basically is come up with the, the, the dose of the patient. The patient here, there's no dose for the patient here. You mock multiply uh, a ski step because this is six uh, micrograms per kg per minute. So how much of the drug is this patient receiving each minute? So you're going to multiply six times 60, which is the weight of the patient, this is going to give us what we call a minute dose of the patient. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get my 6 here, times uh, uh, 60, which is the weight. This gives us what we call 360 uh, micrograms per minute. Okay, so the kg, kg, these units, of course, are going to cancel each other, so I remain with what we call uh, 660 micrograms per minute. So what the doctor is simply saying that I have to dissolve heart, I'm going to dissolve 400 milligrams of dopamine into 500 mils of normal serine. So I like to work the units in the smallest way possible. So I just divide this one, 
400 divided by 500 is going to give me uh, 0 0.8 milligram per one mu. So in that case, so I've just reduced this concentration into a, a mu per mu. So I've just divided 400 divided by 500 gives me 0 0.8 milligram per mu, meaning that each mu now here contains how many? 0 0.80 milligram. That's what it means here. So what I need to do basically here again, since um, my, the doses of dopamine, of course, I'm working with are in uh, micrograms, I rather convert my drug here, which I have here, this concentration, into micrograms. How should I do that? Uh, basically, I'm going to multiply this 0 0.8 times 1,000 because uh, 1 milligram is equal to 1,000 uh, micrograms. So if multiplied by 1,000 here, it's going to give me 800. So this is going to give me 800 micrograms in what? In one mu. So this is what go one mu. So meaning that 800 microgram contains what is in one mu. So I need to know how many mu's now am I going to give the patient for each minute. So you come with what go, what we have here. This patient of course is getting how many? Is getting three skis the micrograms per minute. So what you're gonna do? You write just right here, 300 of, of uh, 300 skis the microgram is in one minute. Okay. So basically. Let's start with this one first, okay? 800 microgram is equal to one mu of the drug. What about 300 and skiste here? How many mules do we have here? When you cross multiply here, you're gonna divide, so that's gonna give us what you call 300 and skiste uh, divided by 800. This will give us 0 0.45 mules, okay? This is the dose that the patient will be receiving each minute in mu form. So if we're giving the patient 0 0.45 mu each minute, that means that this patient is receiving 360 micrograms per minute. I've just converted what I have, concentration I have here, which is of course what I've made, this is the drug that I have, this concentration here, 400 milligram in 500 mu of normal serine. When I reduce this to least possible unit, meaning that each mu is composed of how many? 800 micrograms. So I equate, if 800 microgram is equivalent to one mu of, the, of this drug, what about 300 uh, skiste, which is a mu, uh, a minute dose for our patient? How much mu are we giving this patient each minute? That has given me 0 0.45 mu per minute. Now, I won't end here because still the nurse, of course, want to know, okay, on the ward, I have got, I have a purity. So this purity, the nurse have on the ward, is delivering uh, drugs at um, uh, one mu is equal to, let's use this one with 20 drops. Okay, one mu is equal to 20 drops. There are different purity on the wall that can be used by the nurses. There are other purities which actually are calibrated saying that uh, one mu is equal to 10 drops. Others deliver, of course, one mu is equal to 15 drops. But in this case, I'm using 20 drops. So it could be just the same thing. I want you to understand that part. So what we need to do basically here, we just come here. Okay, we know here that, uh, that uh, we have our patient getting how many? 0 0.1, 0 0.45 mu of the drugs per minute, this is a minute dose the patient is giving, okay, and when this is what we have here. So if you have, we say it, one mu of the this one is equal to 20 drops, okay. What about 0 0.45? How many drops do we need to get here? So when you, when you cross multiply this, 0 0.45 times 20, what you're getting here is 9 drops, okay, of the drugs per minute, okay. So what does it mean here? This means basically that the, if the nurse, the nurse will get this drug, 400 milligrams from the farmers, and dissolve this 400 milligrams of dopamine into 500 mL of normal serine, after they dissolve that, the nurse has made the concentration of, which is equal to simply 800 micrograms per one mL. When we multiply, the nurse is going to multiply the weight, they're going to weigh the patient and get the patient's weight, multiply 60, which is the weight of the patient, per minute, and this is going to give us 360, which is actually a minute dose, uh, a minute dose for this patient. I've equated this one here, of course, saying if 800 micrograms is in one meal, what about 360? How many meals does it give us? We found 0 0.45 meals in this patient per minute. I've converted the number of mules here into uh, drops because that's what we have on the one. So the next will be running how many? 
the nurse will be running nine drops per minute. The, the, the giving us the dopamine, of course, don't just collect the drug and leave. No, no. When, with anaerobic drugs, you start the patient, of course, at the low doses here, and then you titrate based on the effect. Between 15, every 15 to 10 minutes or 10 to 15 minutes, the blood pressure has to be checked. And if there's no improvement in the blood pressure, the doses may be increased. Okay, so here's how you increase the dose now. The doses may be increased in the ratio between 1 to 4 micrograms per kg per minute. So each minute, the nurses will begin to add, add or to increase the dose of the patient uh, by a microgram or 2 micrograms uh, every 15 to 10 minutes or the 10 to 15 minutes if the patient BP is not improving until you reach the maximum uh, dose of this drug that's under the cardiogenic which in this case we say it's in the range of between 5 to 15 micrograms that's how you give dopamine as this drug so this is what I had for you today under uh, giving uh, how you give dopamine of course and as, as a cardiogenic shock so stay blessed and keep safe in this era of COVID-19 see you next time in my next video